stay away from the average thinking stay away from average people just make sure to surround yourself just only with successful people successful ideas and uh, people that really have accomplished a lot of things in life and not from losers in this video i will show you nine points uh, where you can change your reality and really change the way that you see the world by standing really away from all this average thinking the first thing uh, it's about the mentality that people save, say save everything, save this money, save this maybe food or save other stuff. I am not here to say that you should waste a lot of stuff or that you should uh, keep money and trash away. Or I have also had made video about uh, saving money because it's the purpose about saving. Because if you save just for the reason to save, to keep in the bank, to keep sure that you don't want to lose that money, that is wrong. But if you're saving some money to do some investments, you're saving your money for maybe for rainy days in your business, or you're saving your money for a purpose, maybe you need a new car, maybe you save some money to really invest more in yourself, in your business, or maybe if a month it doesn't go really well, you have some money to live. This is the right type of investing and saving, not to save just to save your money behind the mattress or save your money in the bank just to see that number and then you will never touch them. And the same thing, for example, with food, with clothing and other stuff. If you have your shoes that are completely gone, that are they are garbage, just take them and put them away. Don't uh, continuously wear that shoes uh, just because you want to save that maybe $30 for new shoes. Just go out, buy new shoes, uh, new clothing that you need, uh, not that you want, uh, and then just... Uh, trash put in the trash all the old things that you have maybe that are break or that are are not a good quality the next thing it's about retire i can see that a lot of people around my age about 20 years old already think about retire and this okay it can be good but if you're hoping that maybe in uh, 60 years you can retire to live the good life or you can retire so you don't have to work and then you put your money away on a separate bank account just uh, for your retirement i don't think that it's a good idea because on 20 years old first of all we should live a little bit more the moment and enjoy a little bit more our money and the uh, second thing okay it's good to save your retirement uh, but uh, I think that it would be really really better invest that money in yourself so you can create more money for yourself and you should not uh, think about retirement how to live with just two ch two thousand uh, every month and other stuff you should really invest in yourself so once you decide to retire first of all maybe it uh, probably should be earlier than 80 years old or 60 or whatever it is uh, but uh, you should make sure that once you retire you're not scared about the money and then you can pretty much live the life that you want but i am more during enjoying my life as i want than waiting for the retirement and i advise to you to think maybe in this way too because it will makes you really happier and it makes you really enjoy more that process and this really opens your mind to new perspective new ideas and new opportunities the next point is about the house a lot of people that now i know around 25 maybe 30 years old they are already thinking at the house buy the house just take a secure job buy the house create a family and live there and die there and uh, this for me i think that is not one of the best plans to have uh, first of all because uh, my parents over own a home and i can see all the things that go into it and uh, as a lot of people say buying a home is not one of the best investment because yes maybe the land can go up on value but your house go down in value and it's not an investment it's an investment if maybe you buy a house 
through the bank and then you rent it to have monthly income uh, for yourself but uh, if you live there it's not an investment so buying a house is not a thing that you should have now maybe if you are young but it, it can be maybe and one idea if you maybe become a millionaire or multi-millionaire you can buy a little house and live there without paying a rent but uh, when you have enough money to don't think about taxes about think uh, this and that and other stuff you should really be free once you buy the house the next point is about value and time a lot of average people just uh, think that time is way less valuable than money in fact if they can maybe save ten dollars on a t-shirt they go drive for maybe 30 minutes just to take the t-shirt and save ten dollars but i'm just thinking you can go there and okay it's ten dollars more but uh, if that ten dollars uh, it's equal to 30 minutes of your time i don't know if it's a good investment because uh, now i am in the situation where some people ask me to do some works but they don't have a lot of money and they tell me that maybe i should go work six hours for maybe just 100 bucks and uh, now i can say to them no because uh, i can stay here and work on my business and I will earn more money in uh, in that amount of time and I also will be first of all more happier because I am here comfortable at home less stressed uh, and other stuff maybe I can tell them that I can do some work maybe through remote desktop and other stuff but uh, now I can little bit selectionate and choose more all the the work that comes into place so make sure to valuable to give va more value to your time and less value to your money uh, and do the right balance the next point is about limiting thinking a lot of people think that they cannot afford it that they cannot do it and i quit saying i cannot afford about two years ago and it's completely changed my mind i've read this on one of these book i don't remember the name but it's pretty much say that you should never tell to yourself i cannot afford it because once you tell this your mind just give up thinking and give up at the idea that you will never get it but if you just think how can i for it how can i make the money to buy this car then your mind start, starts working starts maybe creating ideas process and then you can see new opportunities around your life and uh, this is really important and then also uh, don't say i cannot do it but just say i don't know how to do it because uh, uh, these days pretty much is everything is possible you can go to the moon <laughs> You can uh, drive a supercar and other stuff and everybody uh, there is people that has accomplished something in this stuff so you know that if someone already made it it's uh, physically possible and uh, asking yourself how can i do it it's really way better than just saying i cannot do it the next point it's about partying a lot of people value a lot partying and hanging out on the weekend go to the disco get drunk just to have party and enjoy life but uh, the truth of that is that they don't enjoy life they just enjoy one or two days a week and uh, if you sum all the weeks that there is in your life uh, it's a really really low part of your life and uh, i don't feel the need to go to the disco to go to the club or just maybe hang out because i already live an unhappy life at my home i am i am happy here i just go for a walking i go with driving my car and i don't need to go party to maybe just to relax myself and other stuff i am already happy uh, with the stuff that i had and i don't need external factor like disco or drinking to be more happy so uh, my advice to you is to create a life where you don't need to go out and uh, need really the need of drinking and having fun at the party if you want you can go but you don't feel the need because once you feel the need you understand that your life is a little bit less stress more stressful sorry and uh, you don't have a pretty much really really high quality life so make sure to create a, your overall life that is good and then it's okay to go out on the weekend but it's not needed the next point is about people that say enjoy life they say to me maybe why you don't go to the disco you don't enjoy your life I, and 
pretty much I I don't say nothing. But the reason is that I am enjoying my life every day of my life. I am enjoying my working, my struggles and my fun. And uh, they just enjoy one evening every week and they can see that uh, they cannot see myself that I'm happy because they, they cannot understand this mentality stuff. And uh, pretty much just doing what makes you happy, you don't have the need to go out because you are already enjoying your life. The next point is uh, that uh, society tells you that if you are different, there is something wrong with you. I am very different from a lot of people and average people uh, about what I eat, what I do every day, about my business and other stuff. And this is the reason why I have different results from other people. I am starting understanding this uh, during uh, my fitness journey when I was uh, maybe in the gym when my friends are uh, at the restaurant eating junk food uh, or they are drinking alcohol I was maybe at home or I just was drinking water when they have a beer I just drink a water and uh, I have saw that different choices really brings different results so stop listening to other people and just uh, if you're doing something different you will be different you will have different results and this it's a good thing and uh, the last point that I want to share, it's about the dreams and goal and the difference. Because average people, everybody has dreams. I will become a millionaire, I will own a supercar, I will retire at 30, but they don't know how, how to do it, they don't do any action, they pretty much say that they will become a millionaire, they hope in the lottery, and they do not, don't even play the lottery. <laughs> and this is stupid. Because uh, just thinking, okay, I will, I will be a millionaire, but if you are not doing some determinate things, some actions, some work, some, uh, some learning to become a millionaire, you will never become a millionaire. But if you want to become a millionaire and you say to other people, okay, I will have a supercar maybe in five or ten years, and then every day you read books, you put in the work, uh, you create content for your personal brand, and you work... Uh, uh, the business for your clients, there is an incredible amount of chances that you will get that result because uh, your desire, your dream, your goals, it's uh, followed by actions, but just have the dreams and uh, do nothing, uh, you will never go to, to any place. So I hope you enjoyed this video and start today implementing all these nine steps to help you to first of all save a lot of time and really differentiate yourself from the average people and the average thinking. Subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video.